Hi everybody! I wanted to do a super quick kind of stamping basics video. I haven't done one of these in a while and I think that there's some changes right now that is confusing people about stamps. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you three different types of stamps um, and a couple of different just very basic techniques that you can do using pretty much just stamps, ink, and paper. If you need any of these supplies, you can go to thecraftymedic.com. There's a little shop now button there. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube or Facebook, there should be links um, as well. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is photopolymer stamps. Now, we phase, we're phasing out, I should say, the wood mount stamps, which is what most people are familiar with. But photopolymer stamps are becoming really popular. These are called different things from different companies. Stampin' Up! calls them photopolymer. This is a celebration stamp set, so you can get this for free right now. And this is what photopolymer stamps look like. So they're totally clear. You can see through them exactly what you're stamping. These are best for things that you need to line up. So that's why you'll see all of our two-step or multi-step stamping um, sets are now photopolymer. To use these, you're gonna peel them off of that clear backing that shows you what, um, what the stamp actually does. I'm gonna take these two because I'm gonna line them up and then I'm just gonna take a greeting here. So to mount these up, you do need clear blocks. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna mount these up onto those clear blocks, just like that. So all I'm doing is pushing the block onto the back of the stamp, and then you can see it there. I'm gonna need some paper, so I'm using the note cards. I'm gonna use the note cards for all my cards today. And then you need some ink. So we've got paper, ink, and stamps. That's all you need for this card. I've got two different colors. I've got pear pizzazz and petal pink. And I'm gonna open these both up. If you don't know how to open the ink pads, we'll do that in another in another video. How's that? I want to keep this one not too, too long. All right, so I'm just doing light taps on here. If you push too hard on all these foam ink pads, you're going to end up with ink everywhere. This is where I really like the analogy of kissing the bunny. Just super light taps, and you want to kind of move it around a little bit, and that's what's going to keep your ink nice and clear. Now, I don't know if this is going to be too dark for what I have planned. No, I think that's going to be okay. So I'm just going to stamp this. No, I see, I just saw a few little bubbles in the ink, so I just wanted to tap it a few times again. And then you're just going to go straight down and straight up. Don't rock your stamp around. And if you wear bifocals, be really careful that you're going straight up and down. People with bifocals tend to angle the stamps a little bit when they're stamping. Now we're gonna do the same thing with the petal pink. And now you can see where this becomes really cool. You can actually line up your stamps. And I'm gonna line up with the little circles and the dots. And it's super easy to get that lined up properly. So that's the kind of the benefit of the photopolymer stamps. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take my memento black here and I'm going to just stamp a greeting over that. And then this card is actually done. So this is a hashtag simple stamping card. On the um, memento ink pad, it's linen, so you have to push a, or you can push a little bit harder. And what I find with the photopolymer stamps, especially when they're new, is they do need a bit of encouragement and I even rub them a little bit like that. Okay. And then I'm just gonna line this up on here where I want it. And there we go. So it says you're pretty much the best ever, that cute little design. And there's my simple stamping card, done. Okay, so that's photopolymer. I'm gonna keep the memento out and I'm gonna show you clear mount stamps. So these were the original red rubber um, that have the foam on the back. So they're called clear because they go onto your clear blocks. They're not called clear because you can see through them. This is what causes, causes some confusion for people. And this is the Accented Blooms stamp set. They do come with labels. I'm gonna admit here, I don't use these labels because what I find is when I put the labels on, they don't stick very well. When you pop these out the first time, they are attached at the rubber. 
and some of them will have these center pieces that you can actually pop out and that's just to make your stamping a little bit easier. Keep this, it's still a very useful piece. And then you have to peel this paper off the back. If you're going to attach the label, you can do it now. I'm not going to, and I'm gonna show you with the, with the cling mounts how we do that. So same thing with these, put them face down and then put your clear block over top. Um, how's this gonna fit best? Just push straight down like that. And again, I'm gonna use the note card here. Now this one, it's this nice line art, so I'm actually going to color this in. I'm not going to show you that in this video. This one's just going to be plain black and white. Um, and I'll show you how I color these with the blends in a different video. And again, just straight down and straight up. And you can see you've got that nice um, crisp lines and not a lot of smudges if you go straight up and down. The other thing I want to do actually with this stamp set is I do want to stamp one of these sayings. So I'm going to make this a thank you card. And this is kind of my little bonus tip here is to do some punching. So what we're going to do is we're going to stamp this saying onto a scrap piece of Whisper White. So I'm going to ink this up with the solid stamps. It can be really hard. See how it's not really even? I actually probably need to re-ink this pad because um, I'm getting a lot of that kind of not fully even. Rub it a little bit and then tap. That seems to help with that. And again, on the memento pad, pushing fairly hard, harder than you would on your um, foam pads. Okay, there we go. Now I'm gonna stamp this again, straight down and straight up. Beautiful. Now with punches, on the bottom, if you slide this up, it'll open up. You can punch like this, put it down on the table and squish, but that's actually upside down. What you wanna do is you want to Hold it like this so that you can see it and then you can put it under here and line it up. You could do this on the table as well and push down. I find that even when you line it up like this, it tends to slip a bit when you do this. So I prefer to hold it because then I can bring this bottom up into that top, if that makes sense. Just so to minimize it sliding around once you've got it lined up. And then we're gonna punch that out. So I'm gonna put that on there, but like I said, I'm gonna do another video where I show you how I color and finish this card. So this is, it's almost done. But again, simple stamping, ink stamps paper, and in this one we added the punch. Okay, we're gonna move away from the memento now. And we're gonna move into stays on. Now stays on is basically permanent marker. And what I'm gonna show you is I'm gonna show you a cling mount stamp set. So this is our new, um, our new style of stamp sets. They're very similar to the clear mount in that they are the red rubber and they have stickers. Now on these ones, I do put the stickers on and I'll show you why. So this is So Happy Together and this is from our celebration items as well. So this is another one you can get for free. I'm taking the paper off the back there and now I'm gonna put the sticker on the back. So I need to find which image this is on here, and then I'm gonna peel off the first layer of paper on that sticker. And now I've got this exposed and I've got this guide along the edge, and I'm just gonna line that up. And you wanna get this fairly precise because if you don't get it right, you're pretty much hooped. These stickers stick really well. Push it down, and then you can peel this off your paper. If you forget how to do this, there is instructions in here and there's a link there to a video from Stampin' Up! as well. So now we've got a sticker on the back and we can actually mount this onto a clear block. These are super, super sticky. When you go to peel these off, be really careful, especially if you've let them sit for a while. If you just kind of pull, you're going to pull that foam right apart. So what you want to do is you want to get a fingernail right under that label on a corner and start peeling. Or if you're like me and don't often have fingernails, you can use your take your pick tool. And I like to use this spatula end and I'll just get that under the label on a corner and peel it up like that. These are super sticky. They'll actually stick to your finger this way. 
um, but we want it on the clear block for this. And then what I'm actually, actually, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up my card the way I want it. Oh, you know what? Let's do a horizontal card. I'm going to put that on there. And then I want a little greeting and maybe some, some flies. And again, I'm going to show you just how to do that, um, the labels again quick because I've got these two other stamps here. So I've got Hoppy for you and those flies. So the little flies, we're gonna line them up. Peel them off the backing and Hoppy for you. There we go, okay. So now we'll get this. And then how do I want my little flies? Like that, okay. And then you can mount these all up onto one block, which is super handy. So like I said, we're gonna use stays on. And this, you'll be able to smell it, that it's like a permanent marker. And again, it's kind of that linen firmer pad, so you can push a little harder. And then we're gonna stamp this. Okay, it's not completely perfect. I'm a little off kilter with my greeting, but that's okay. It's handmade. So once you're done with your stamps, I like to keep the red rubber so that I know where my stamps are. With the photopolymer, it's easy because you have that sheet. But with these, I like to put them back and I'm not gonna clean them. I'm gonna show you how to clean them in another video. And I just put them back in there so that I know that all my stamps are there. So that's the cling, very similar to the clear, but different. And the difference is that stickiness on the sticker. So you want to put the sticker on there and be careful when you're taking it off of things. This one, I'm gonna be coloring this in as well in another video, um, but that's my little simple stamping card for, for those. Again, if you need any of these things, um, any of these stamp sets, any of these inks, you can go to thecraftymedic.com, follow the links if you're watching on Facebook or YouTube and, uh, and follow the shop button there. Um, I'd love to see your projects, so just tag me at Crafty Medic and I'd love to see what you do with what you've learned here. Happy stamping.